What is going on, everybody? Back with another one. Thank you, as always, for checking out the videos. I'm like, look, while I'm here, while there's no trips coming up, I'm like, you know what? Let me make sure I get as much, much content done, shot, edited, and uploaded because I already know these next couple months are about to get crazy. So I want to make sure I keep my word and keep my promise and get this stuff out. But it's another quick video for you guys. And it's something that I had to keep in mind. It's something that I follow really every time I get on the shoot, whether it's for photography, videography, cinematography, whatever the case may be. At the end of the day, now that like, okay, the equipment is starting to, I'm starting to grow the equipment, right? Like I'm starting to really build it more and more. New lenses, better lenses, um, everything is just getting an increase. As you know, with any business, you know, you want to elevate, you want to always update and keep updating. And it's making sure, okay, does the equipment match with what you're trying to do? But at the end of the day, I gotta tell anybody, and I make sure I always tell myself in anything that I'm working on, it's the story that I'm trying to convey. It's the story of whether it's the business, the person, whoever it may be, it's always gonna be the story, the story, the story. I try to stress that as much as possible. It doesn't matter how much tech you got. It doesn't matter what you're shooting on. If you're a Sony guy, you're a red guy, you're a Canon guy, all that is fun. It doesn't matter if it's the new lens, if the story is not conveyed, all of it is irrelevant. Basically, you're just carrying a book bag full of junk if you can't convey the story. Anytime, like even like I did like a recent shoot with a friend of mine, he has his own barbecue company and it's booming, he's been on the Food Network. And I'm telling them like, look man, you've got, you've got the look to where now, hey, just start shooting your own stuff. You know, shooting your, shoot your own content, shoot your own show. He didn't win, win the Food Network challenge, but Man, so many people saw you on there. So many people know who you are now. It's like, bro, let's let's shoot your own show, which is that's good. That's in the run next. Like that's going to be up and coming soon. But with him, for example, it was more than just, OK, let's just shoot you barbecuing and call it a day, because I mean, at the end of the day, anyone can do that. Like that's that's easy. You know what I wanted to do with him is like, OK, I want to paint a picture that there's no words needed for it, but you can see the story within it. You can kind of create the story or I'm giving little tidbits. I'm giving little gems in there that you're creating the story around it. So that's what I do when I look at, you know, any shoot. It's like, okay, what story am I trying to convey? Which story do I want to tell? That's always been at the forefront of what I try to do. And like, I, I'm a storyteller, storyteller at the end of the day. I want to freeze time and storytell. Like that's at the prep. That's the premise of how I shoot. That's the premise on even down to how I color grade it. Like everything revolves around the story. I feel even colors can convey a message behind it. Like with him, for example, I'm sure I'm going to put some clips of the video somewhere in here, wherever. But If you notice with his stuff that I was shooting it was more warmer tones that I was using a lot of like oranges and things like that. In other shoots, you might see me using, you know, teals and, you know, other and orange as well, but more of like cooler tones. But with him, I really wanted to have it like a like a warm, a warm feeling to it, like a, a southern country kind of style to it. And you'll see it, it, it more cre it creates more of an aesthetic that matches his business and what he, he wants to do and what he's trying to convey. And then once we were able to put the ideas together, it came out really well and people really received it well. I liked it. He liked it. You know, people are loving it. So it's a good thing. But it all goes back to what is the story? You know, you can paint a picture, you can paint a story with visuals. And I think it's one of the best forms of art is with cinematography and photography that you're able to have no words necessary and you can really tell a vivid story with a single frame or, you know, a short, a movie, whatever the case may be, with words, without words. But I tell anybody, focus on your story and then everything else will come come with it. Don't worry about, okay, what the gear is. You know, listen, the gear, it's a tool, 1000%, but it's not everything. And yes, that's me coming from saying, oh, every time I post something, oh, I'm letting people know it's 4K and it's 120 frames that I'm shooting in this slow-mo and yada, yada, yada. 
but that's just for spec purposes. Like honestly, back in the day, I was shooting. I still shoot with the iPhone. I, I'll still get some great stuff out of an iPhone. I back in the day, I was using the the first GoPro that didn't even have a viewfinder on it, and I was just trying just to convey the message, the message, the message. And because I was always limited back in the day with the type of equipment that I had, I was so much more focused on making sure I capture the idea and capture the message and capture the story behind it. So when I was able to update my tools, man, the story just got that much better. So, and I still keep that same style in every aspect of the editing process that I do now. Like I said, with the color grading, the sounds, um, just the overall framing of it, everything is to convey the message. It's not just about, even when if we do have dialogue, it's okay what are we trying to paint here what is the the theme what are, what are we what is the message what is the message what is the message and with keeping that it allowed a better and a more fulfilling kind of project where it's like okay i can really see the art being displayed through it so think about it just something to think about i recommend everyone to use you know your storyline you know as as your leader when you're trying to create your art. You know, allow, keep your, your cameras and all of your equipment, it's the tools, right? It's not everything. It, you can have all, like I said before, you can have all the amazing tools in the world and a crappy message, and it's just a bunch of junk that you are carrying in the book bag. So that's all I got for you today, guys. I'm about to get out of here. Jiu-Jitsu in a bit, and back to more editing. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.